Today, we're gonna to build a popsicle stick catapult, then test it on our ThinkPad. Are you ready to go? Hey gang, welcome back to STEM at Home. I'm Andy, I'm on the healthcare team here at Lenovo. Today, we're gonna to build a popsicle stick catapult while we talk about energy and force. Once we build that popsicle stick catapult, we're gonna use it to test one of our Lenovo ThinkPads. Hey kids, science is a lot of fun but sometimes a little dangerous. Please make sure you have an adult present with you while you make your popsicle stick catapult. Let's talk a little bit about energy and force. When we stretch the catapult's rubber band, we give it potential energy. When the catapult applies the potential energy to the rubber band, it turns into kinetic energy. Once applied, that creates force. This is what launches the catapult's projectile forward. At Lenovo, before we launch any of our products, we test them to see how much force they can withstand. The first step is to make two popsicle stick triangles. You begin by wrapping a rubber band around each side, then adding the third popsicle stick, and keep going until you've connected all three into triangles. The next step is to take those two triangles and add the cross beams. It helps to have two hands on this part. Once you've attached them on one side, you'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Take care to make sure that the cross beam is on the same side of the popsicle stick corner as the other sides. The next step is to take your lever, I'm using a big popsicle stick, and a bottle cap, and hot glue the bottle cap to the big popsicle stick. We'll then take our big popsicle stick and attach it to the triangle frame. When doing this step, make sure that your lever, when it comes up, is a, will come up against the front of the stick not against the back. Okay, now it's time to test our catapult on a ThinkPad. Thanks for joining me today at STEM at Home. I hope you enjoyed making a popsicle stick catapult while you learned about energy and force and then testing it on a ThinkPad. See you next time.